Okay, hello and welcome everybody. This is Dr. Destiny here, and I'll be covering Zer stock for the 4th of March 2016. This week's one is actually pretty good for the PvP players out there, but obviously I'll go over that stuff in a minute. So, first of all, he's over by the speaker in the corner, not by the actual gate thing, but in the corner. We have got the Titan Legs, the MK44 standard sides. This one is not too great, but we'll go over it anyways. Be somewhere else, increases the duration of shoulder charge and tight to turn radius. So increase in intellect, increase in strength. Sidearm ammo is increased. Rocket launcher ammo is increased. And then we have got the arc double down, increased agility for five seconds after an arc double kill. Pardon me. Then we have the Graviton Forfeit helmet for the Hunters, very, very good. Uh, Elusive Shadow unlocks the Night Stalker subclass Shade Step for free, so increasing strength and in intellect. Ashes to Assets gain bonus super energy on grenade kills. Heavy lifting, so heavy weapon kills on the minions of the darkness. And then innovation, bonus grenade energy and all pickup. Very, very good for PvP and P Shade Step pisses me off, so PvPers out there will love it. We've got scatter charge, enables tracking for scatter grenades and they hold another charge, increasing intellect and a discipline. It's sorry for the no nothing manacle gauntlets for the warlocks. Energy protection, momentum transfer, gain bonus melee energy on grenade hits, increase the reload speed of pulse rifles and for sniper rifle loaders. Both of them are pretty good, the perks is it own, in its own. Then obviously the scatter grenade tracks and obviously you get another charge. Now we've got the Hawk Moon which is a very very good hand cannon. Acquires ballistics, more range and impact. Field choke, more range and impact, increased recoil and then aggressive ballistics, more principal recoil, enhanced impact and shorter range. Luck in the chamber, one random bullet in the magazine causes considerable bonus damage. Hammer forge, improved range and XC which is the one I would pick if he's picking all three of these. Uh, quick draw, serpent can be drawn quickly and then speed reload. Hammer Forge is the one I would typically go for myself and holding aces, two more random bullets in the magazine do considerable bonus damage. Not so good in year two but was really good in year one and then we've got Legacy Engram primary weapon which is obviously the year one primaries and then obviously the three coins. So if you haven't got Hawk Moon already I'd still buy it, it's still a very good formidable pistol or hand cannon in obviously Crucible but there is obviously better ones out there at the moment. Obviously, even year one classics like Fawn is pissing people off and obviously the last word. But it's because of the current meta. Once the meta changes, Hawkman will go back to its former glory. It's still very good though, in the right hands. And they obviously get extra bonus damage, etc, etc. So, a must buy is the weapon. Uh, the ones I'd go after that would be the Graviton Forfeit. So obviously, the sh so you get Shade Step, very good for Hunters. Anything with evasive manoeuvres inside Crucible is very good. And then enough at Manacles for the Warlocks. Obviously, Scatter Grenades, if you use them, you get get um, tracking on that. And then obviously, you get the extra charge. And then we'll go with the MK standard sides, which is obviously increase in shoulder uh, charge, etc. Okay, guys, obviously, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. If you have liked what you see, give the video a like, and then tell me what you managed to pick up this week, or which ones you're still looking for. Okay, guys, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.